Hello there, my name is Ismos and welcome to another exciting Blender tutorial and uh, today we're going to be making this candle. Uh, it's not just a steel candle, it's also a melting candle uh, with a flame and uh, I don't know how this is called, a wick? Yeah, I think it's called a wick. Uh, that's ho that holds the flame uh, with wax melting down. So this is the effect we are going to be making. You can see how the flame burns down and uh, the candle starts melting. And I think because I'm playing back uh, in uh, in the viewport, uh, you don't see uh, the wick burning down, uh, but uh, if you pause, you can see that uh, it kind of starts to uh, disappear as well as the candle uh, burns. Yeah, and uh, you can see if you look closely, it also has a burning spot uh, there, like a regular candle would, and uh, uh, the candle melts down as uh, the flame uh, kind of burns. So. Yeah, so let's see, you can see how it looks in the render view. Of course, we have some uh, artworks here that uh, you can uh, dis uh, remove by turning on uh, contact shadows and uh, things like that, but uh, you can see how that looks. I've also reduced some of the samples so that uh, this records uh, smoothly in my viewport in the in OBS, but uh, yeah, basically this, this is what we're going to be making. Let's first examine this out in uh, layout mode or in uh, unshaded mode so uh, also turn off turn on random random colors here just so we can see the different elements in our scene and maybe cavity uh, so if we play back again you can see how everything comes together we have the uh, the flame burning and uh, the uh, the wax melting down with the wick uh, also slowly dissolving uh, so let's unhide everything else uh, that is supposed to be in our scene back so the way I did this is I'm going to explain to do this again step by step but uh, first I wanted to show you how I did this and maybe in part two I'll be explaining step by step how I did this uh, because I noticed that uh, there's that I think two types of uh, people or two types of users on my subscribers or two types of subscribers on my channel are uh, people who are very advanced in in blender and people who are just uh, beginners so uh, I'm going to break this down. Uh, the first is going to be for more advanced users who don't really need to get me to get through a uh, step-by-step of the entire thing just to show you them how I did it and maybe the next part will be uh, for beginners who just want to see the entire thing done from scratch. So basically for more advanced or mid intermediate uh, uh, Blender users, this is what I did. Uh, so I had, I created a cylinder. I can see nothing very special about this. Let me, let me hide this floor here. Uh, there, is, there is nothing special about this, uh, but uh, uh, in the modifiers, I have a Boolean modifier uh, that is powered uh, and uh, I use, uh, let me hide, first hide this. Uh, this mesh here as an object, as the Boolean modifier, the Boolean object, you can see it's called cylinder 001. And I animated it uh, going from up to down, and then when it starts intersecting with the, with the mesh, uh, then the Boolean starts uh, cutting out uh, the pieces of that uh, mesh, and uh, you can see how uh, the mesh starts dissolving as uh, this plays back. And uh, So you might be wondering then why do I have two uh, versions of this? So the first one is for, for this wax, uh, the second one, let me first hide this, and uh, this is zero, zero, 001. And the second one is meant uh, to dissolve uh, this wick. So you can see it is also just a, a simple mesh. So what I did is, uh, let me show you. I'll be doing this step by step in the next story, but I just wanted to do this quick for more uh, intermediate or advanced users. Who don't want to go through the step by step so what I did is just extruded something like this and then added uh, added the skin modifier I uh, went to edit mode to reduce the width of this I used control a to scale the, the width is the width down and then now uh, what I use are uh, then uh, to make it smooth because you can see it's very sharp poly polygonal uh, in now uh, so I added a, a subdivision surface control to Subdivision surface. Okay, I'm not sure why it's not working here. Okay, so the subdivision surface has to go above the skin modifier to for it to have enough resolution to kind of uh, smoothen out. And uh, then I also, but uh, if you look closely, if you look, you see this is still boxy 
uh, because the subdivision surface modifier comes after uh, the skin modifier uh, which gives it the volume we want so the subdivision modifier is just making this uh, single uh, edge loop kind of curved and then we give it uh, the volume before the after the subdivision modifier which means the subdivision modifier will not work at round this off the, the, the sharp corners off so I added an, a second subdivision surface uh, to just round off uh, those corners and then you can uh, give it as uh, more shading uh, so basically that's what we had and then I also added a boolean modifier let me just move it closer to this object so that you can see I, I added a boolean modifier and selected this object as the difference and then when you unmade this you can see that we start dissolving we need to make it come closer so that it doesn't you can see now now for the boolean objects for the two boolean objects if I unhide this and uh, also hide this uh, you can see uh, what I what I so the reason is just showing the wireframe is because I went to I went to uh, the display options and change uh, the display as wire uh, which by default is set to, uh, to take shells so this is uh, what our boolean works the boolean object looks like and uh, you can see let me first hide uh, this i can see when the candle dissolves it's not just dissolving uh from top to bottom straight forward uh it's also uh these edges are also kind of being animated just to show that uh there is some kind of fluid uh dissolving going on and uh, how the way i did that is that uh, for this uh, modifier it's, it was just simply a mesh actually I just duplicated this I uh, added in some more uh, polygons and then added a displace modifier which I animated using uh, this empty uh, actually it's this empty and you can see when I move it you can see this is animated I'll show you in the step-by-step -step animation if you want to learn how to do that uh, but I just I, I'm just going to controlling the animation of this with the with that empty and uh, so when it animates and also goes from top to bottom it will dissolve uh, this mesh uh, let me hide uh, the two meshes so the first one is uh, for the wick and the second one is for uh, the uh, the wax and I also offset uh, their positions uh, so that uh, the first modifier uh, that dissolve uh, the, the wax so that the, the wax dissolves faster than uh, the wick so that every time we have, we have playback uh, the week will we always see a part of uh, that week and then for the flame uh, um, I just uh, I just animated I just kind of duplicated uh, let me show you here let me hide this or so hide this uh, where's the week so you can see this is uh, the week uh, so what I did is uh, I duplicated it uh, first and then I removed everything here and converted it into a curve uh, that I used uh, to that I used and then use that as a modifier uh, for these objects so this uh, this uh, flame here kind of follows uh, that uh, that uh, that curve I'll be showing you this in in the step by step tutorial if you want to learn that how I did that but uh, basically for advanced users they know really how to do this so I don't have to explain it uh, step by step so yeah and basically I think that's it that's yeah and uh, then I added a light uh, that I put in uh, that I, this I just animated uh, going top to bottom and uh, for the materials the materials are also very easy to set up so let me first hide uh, these booleans so you can see the material is also very set very easy i just used a uh, subsurface scattering and i also enabled it here and uh, yes yeah, so um, uh, the settings are very easy i'll be um so i will have the materials that i used in this project also available for free uh, to download on my uh, website that is blender101.com and i think i'll also have uh, the project files uh, to download on blender one on, for free uh, uh, they won't be only exclusive to my patrons this time it will they will also you can just download them if you want to download them for free and uh, yeah so let's see what else did I need do I need to show you so I think that's it for the most part uh, so 
Uh, if you want to see how I did this step by step, I'll be making a tutorial for that uh, in the next uh, video. So I'll, I think I'll be doing a time lapse version as for more advanced users who don't want to sit uh, and watch step by step tutorial but they still want to watch the entire thing but uh, for the time lapse I, I want to keep uh, this vid this channel for meant to for, for only step by step tutorials so I'll have uh, my uh, the, I'll have the time lapse on the second channel that I have I think it's called I, uh, which is called I, I think the names I think to uh, let's make a game uh, uh, because I was want I wanted to make a video game out of that, but uh, I'll be leaving a link uh, to the time lapse version of this tutorial as well. Uh, that will be on the, on my second channel. So if you want to subscribe to that, you can also do that. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's uh, the tutorial for now. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how I did this uh, step by step. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.